I'm Joe, sitting in my daughter's poof chair with a glass of bourbon, and this is another episode of Comfortably Sophisticated. Tonight's bourbon is a Copper Craft blended whiskey, um, bourbon whiskey. Um, it's a local distillery here in Holland, um, and it's a quite, quite a nice whiskey, uh, or quite a uh, nice bourbon. Um, I think it actually won an award but I'm not sure. Um, tonight, um, debated about recording this one. Um, tonight is a little bit different. Um, so here we go. I famously have a friend who at the end of the year when we get together, um, whether it be for dinner after Iceman or Friendsgiving, uh, you know, sometime in November, we get together, all the biking friends get together, who provides a speech. And the speech is always fun, and the speech is, the speech is always heartfelt and meaningful, and it's funny. Um, but one of the things that he's, uh, that he has said uh, through the years, that he repeats every year, is not everybody gets to do this. And by this meaning mountain biking. And um, he knows that being able to ride a bike and race and do what we do is is an opportunity and it's a gift and it's and it's something that we should appreciate. And I, you know, he says it because it's something that we should just make sure that we're Taking, not just like taking off lightly that we get to ride bikes and for me that has always been a special thing um, because I've taken on riding as a, as a as a special way to think of uh, my cousin um, my cousin was was three weeks older than I was um, 43 now she would have been 43 <clears throat> and when I first started riding and was in the woods um, that was that was my way of thinking of her because she loved running um, but she loved being outside and um, so when I was in the woods by myself you know my own rides or whatever oftentimes that would be the time that I'd reflect on you know the hardship that she was going through um, you know, in the health um, struggles that she was going through and even now that's that's oftentimes those are the times that I remember her and um, you know kind of put a purpose to my riding part of the purpose um, that it's a it's a way for me to remember but this year in particular it was a, um, a very pointed a very pointed thought that not everybody gets to do this. This year there was um, another gentleman um, that I had become friends with over the last couple of years, um, had ridden with on a couple of occasions as often as I, I could try, um, but not often enough. Um, and he found out in the beginning of the year that he had a very significant health issue. Um, and fought uh, very courageously and is still fighting. Um, but one of the things that he talked about, he was very, um, had a, a, a um, to keep people up to date, would keep people up to date through a uh, prayer page on Facebook. And one of the things that he would talk about was not being able to ride. Um, and so for me, that message of not everybody gets to do this really hit home this year. And, um, and that, that was, that was, it hit me, um, pretty good. And just before Iceman, um, a thought occurred to me, um, that all these years, you know, as I would go out riding and, and think of my cousin, um, 
in a sense, I had her riding with me. And I decided that for Iceman, I was gonna, I was gonna carry him along with me too this year. Um, and it was, it was partially, I know, for me to stay motivated, um, that when things were hard, when I was, my legs were cramping up, or when I was pushing hard, there was a hill that I didn't like, I was breathing, trying to grasp air from every orifice in my body, but that pain was nothing in comparison. Um, but it was also for me to remember that this was a truly, um, get a true gift to be able to ride. Um, and if in any way I could encourage him by uh, having him ride along with me, um, I wanted to be able to do that. Um, and I did, I did text him and, and let him know afterwards that, that I had him on my, on my heart. Uh, that was just more, not more, that was more than just my mind. I had him on my heart for that ride. Um, and um, it just kind of made me think about riding in general. You know, I, I do it for my health and I do it for the fun and the thrill and the enjoyment. Um, but I feel like there's also an opportunity for me to do that to carry people. Um, I'm not I'm not the greatest with words and situations of trials with people. Um, I kind of struggle with coming up with, because what I'm trying to do is come up with the words that are going to comfort somebody. And I know that's oftentimes just not possible. And so the best thing that you can do is just simply show up and you can express that you're there for them, but there's not anything that you're going to say that's going to take the pain away. That's going to fix the issue, but the showing up part. And so the thought that I had was, what if I brought showing up, meaning I'm bringing them with me? Um, so I don't know if that makes sense, but that's that's been a big a big thing for me this year, and I think it's going to be something that I seek out next year, um, not to manufacture um, situations. Um, but more so to make sure that I'm coming alongside people that don't get to do this this year or don't get to do this again. That it's somehow including people in the sport um, that may not have the opportunity right now. So this is a little bit of a tougher one for me. Um, if I do end up putting this out, it's because I do end, at the end of the day feel like there's some value, that there's something that might touch somebody that they might think about how they can be involved with somebody who's going through a hard time. And it doesn't have to be health related, but in my case it was. And I think it's important um, it's, it's been an important evaluation process for me to think through really what was more important. Was it the selfish motivation that I felt like it would bring me or was it the honor that I could provide the people that I'm thinking of and bringing with me? I don't have, I don't have an answer for you on that yet, but I'm hoping it's the latter, obviously. And my attempt is to make it the latter. But one thing that I'd, I guess I'll say it this way. I challenge you to think about who you can bring with you on your ride. Whether it's an event or if it's just time you get to spend by yourself, you're thinking about something anyway, you're processing something. Who can you bring with you? And who can you show up for? That is, that is something meaningful to me. So um, I appreciate you listening to that tonight and um, as usual um, I'm sitting in my daughter's poof chair enjoying a glass of bourbon
being comfortably sophisticated. Thanks for watching.